Hello. In my attempts to define the purpose of uh, my life, I come up with a list of what makes me happy. Or as an endless list of what has potential to make me happy. I'm quite sure everyone would come up with a very similar list. Um, noticeably, there is one persistent trait to all items in the list. In order to make me happy, it has to be useful to me or to other people. From here, I conclude that um, usefulness of what I do, make or create, leads to happiness. And I was relieved to find that great people of the past and the present have come to similar conclusions. Eleanor Roosevelt mentioned, being useful is a crucial factor in achieving personal happiness. I want to say many thanks for this and other great readings to Maria Popova from brainpickings.org. Also, uh, Joseph Edison said, I have somewhere met with the epitaph of a charitable man, which has uh, very much pleased me. I cannot recollect the words, but the sense of it is to this purpose. What I spent, I lost. What I possessed is left to others. What I gave away remains with me. Beautifully said. So, usefulness is the key factor in achieving happiness. Is it possible to measure usefulness? Here things get a bit more complicated. Eleanor Roosevelt declares that being useful is rewarding in itself. I agree with that with a slight correction. Being acknowledged for being useful is even more rewarding. Most people will agree with that. Acknowledgements have many different forms. It ranges from simple thanks to monetary rewards. On one hand, getting many thanks is pleasant, but it does not pay bills. On the other hand, getting money as a form of acknowledgement is not always appropriate, and it also raised at least one question, how much money is enough for that? Sure, money helps to be happy, though getting more money doesn't really make big difference in happiness. As a matter of fact, money cannot be used to estimate such valuables as happiness, love, friendship, or even a simple smile. There is no monetary value in it. And yet, we are talking here about the most valuable part of what we are, the part that makes us different individuals. I have to find an universal form of acknowledge to measure usefulness of everything. And here things are getting a bit more interesting. I am a man of my time. I Google questions. This query yields not a direct answer, but witty rich food for brain consumption. The World Wide Web mostly consists of various freely available content in a different uh, media format, submitted by people for people. It is spiced up by commercial content, and the usefulness of each particular entry is defined by the number of users' clicks, comments, likes, badges, favorites, bookmarks, and so on. Everything that we generally refer as number of views. The number of views is recorded by third parties and kept a static number and basically it represents with less or more accuracy public interest and therefore usefulness of that particular content with regard to the query. Certainly, this number is not 100% accurate. However, it seems to be the closest number so far that search engines can get us to estimating usefulness. Views as form of acknowledge equivalent to thanks and it already works very well for makers of free contents. Is it possible to use views in the way we use money, the most accepted form of media exchange? And here things are getting really much more interesting. The simple answer is yes. Technically, it can be done relatively easy with um, use of existing already technologies, personal database, some kind of digital wallet coupled with um, DRM, some ways of uh, restricting users' access to the content, in exchange for payment. So I believe uh, simple JavaScript that user can bypass is yet sufficient enough to collect views from users of free contents, which is free by definition, and a single view as a payment is not much to ask for it anyway. So again, Technically, the answer is yes. We can use views as a um, form of money. The end user with zero earned views as money in the digital wallet 
or the user without digital wallet at all, it is a natural source of view. The user produces or generates, if you wish, the view to access the free content in the same way as it is done always, by simply accessing the web page. Click. If the user does not have digital wallet or otherwise not sign in, then user has to prove that he is a human being. That is the price the user pays to the maker of the free content. The maker of content uses earned views from his wallet to pay for access to free or commercial, meaning worth more than one view contents. There are no third parties, financial institutions or governments involved in this process whatsoever. I ponder about what the views as form of payment would change for us. The reality of our world has many sides. The World Wide Web is relatively new, a couple decades old, and yet is a very important part of our world, and it is increasingly growing in number of views, services, and the importance it has in our lives. Sooner or later, our online presence becomes permanent as 24-7. Commercialization of uh, World Wide Web is a logical step in its development that requires some form of media exchange. Money it is. However, money cannot serve as media exchange for free contents that has no monetary value. Not surprisingly, many centuries old monetary systems that failed many times before and now to serve needs of people, systems that give us poverty, hunger, wars, economic disasters, and insecure future prospect is failing to fit needs of World Wide Web users. Adapting views as a form of uh, media exchange most certainly will define values to otherwise free content. It does not make views my substitute for money. Get it right. The power of views goes way beyond of my imagination. It will change very aspect of our society and every person's life. Views would um, render any unusable stuff extinct. Naturally eliminating all unusable government structures, financial institutions, reshaping our economy. It will be profitable to make free content. Financial funds would be not the object for scientists, makers and inventors. It would make schools, museums, science, public libraries and all social services, including police and army, profitable for as long as people need them. Most certainly, it would change our mentality. Let's compare views versus um, money. Views defines values of um, everything, goods, services, and otherwise free stuff. Money defines values of um, goods and service only. Views value permanent, money value temporary. Views issued and controlled by you, viewers or users. Money issued and controlled by government and third parties. It would take the efforts of many and a long time to accomplish such an enormous change. I have no illusion about that. It would take men of new generation raised free of today's dominating, make money to make more money dogma, to fully implement such changes. It would take men caring to make everything useful instead of just making it profitable. However, it is up to men of our generation to make the first steps on this path. And the path lays through the art. We develop as uh, human beings, starting our lives by consuming art in the most natural, basic and again freely available forms. Art is the source of everything man creates and lives by. It is the voice of mom singing, the words we say, sing and write, the pictures we draw. It is the photos and comments you share on Facebook. It is the videos you upload on YouTube. It is the structures we build. It is the meal we cook. It is everything we enjoy so much to do from our hearts. Every small or big steps we make in our development inspire but no less than work of art. Artists guide us to the future. And it is up to artists to inspire us for any big or small steps to make in our growth. 
it is up to those who give us free knowledge and share their skills to make such changes. To them I rely to see the idea in minds of people and start using views as form of media exchange. It seems necessary to keep development of any and all software related to collecting and storing views as money under open source license. This way everyone may contribute to build trusted, safe and simple to use software. While all forms of arts are important, there are some that seems to have more influence over young people mind, music and games. And that is where implementation of views as form of money is the most crucial for spreading the idea and actual use of views. For example, teaching kids to use views as rewards can be done in form of online games. Well, it seems to me the most playable way to begin with. <laughs> From online games, kids will bring it to reality of our world, slowly but surely growing with the idea already in their minds. For myself, I'm lucky to write for people who want to make people happy. I share my works with those who already know that making people happy is the way to be happy. I'm talking about you, balloon twisters and clowns, magicians and teachers, moms and dads, artists of all trades. You, as no one else, know how to make your children smile and what it takes to make them happy. Together we can make the entire world the very best place for them to be. Place where makers rules. I am Michael Langerman, author of this work, released under public domain dedication license, and I mean it as I never mean before. You are free to dream and carry out. Have fun and happy twisting.